Imagine you're a scammer sitting at your laptop, a YouTube window pops up with a live video feed of a bunch of people watching a screen, and on that screen is you. Open it! Open it! Open it! This is me. I'm 16, and I was able to join the largest attack against scammers in history. The team had people stopping scams. They're not from Apple. They're, they're impersonating big companies. Some people saving victims. And I was a part of the group hacking scammer webcams. We're gonna be destroying some scammers, going after them, um, taking control of their systems, doing some reversals. This group had Midnight, Agent G9, legends like John Hammond, Ryan Montgomery, and Pierogi from Scammer Payback. As we go through the day, our ADD minds are just, especially at the end of the table, I'll just say that their access has been taken on another scammer's computer, and from that, from here, we're able to just watch them and watch anything that they do. It's as if we're sitting at the computer. He's trying to connect back into your computer right now, and he's failing. I'm watching him try, and he's failing because you have it turned up. Let's go. The operation. It's the People's Call Center, basically a specialized call center to go after scammers. Scam baiters from all over the world are flying into Scammer Payback headquarters to show off their skills. Restart the computer, that thing will go away. There's nothing wrong with your computer. And take down those pesky scammers who are stealing billions of dollars from innocent victims every single year. But it doesn't stop here. Pierogi and his team have spent countless hours and dollars organizing this incredible week-long event. So you just know we had some special things planned. So we're trying to identify as many scammers as possible. And a good way of doing this is by accessing a scammer's webcam. But here's the problem. The majority of scammers, they cover their webcams completely. So you can't see anything. And this is bad because we can't figure out who they are. But in this case, since we're at the People's Call Center, we have amazing individuals like Ryan Montgomery and John Hammond developing tools allowing us to counter this problem. He clicked OK. No, oof. That big was, oof. Big oof. Yes! No. <laughs> oh, wait. No You're not going to be able to see it anyway because only one process can have a handle on the webcam at once. Oh. Yeah, you didn't know that? That's why we got the air the first time. Right now, we are looking for scammers to have covered or taped up their webcams, and we're going to send them a legit system message that's going to have some very specific language that's going to request for them to uncover their webcams so we can see their faces and identify them. But if they just click OK or simply refuse to uncover their webcams, we will open the system prompt multiple times, essentially forcing them into uncovering their webcam. But we were immediately faced with a problem is to lock the screen like this so it'll say your webcam's overheating remove your webcam cover before the temperature uh, affects your device and this locks their keyboard and mouse the problem that we were running into is a lot of the scammers don't just have tape over their webcam and you can see gray or or maybe they're using scotch tape whatever they're using but it's not pitch black so we're trying to find different gradients of colors to pop this message so as soon as the face is detected um, my revision of, of john's script uh, detects a face, it adds it into a, a hidden folder, and every minute snaps that shot of the person's face so we can essentially find them in the future um, with reverse facial recognition tools uh, with pen tester, shameless plug. But if they are not blocking their webcam, this message goes away. Kill the thing and then see if she keeps it untaped. <laughs> no, she put her hand over it. Oh, she'll be back. Yeah, we can just keep it firing. I'm so happy it works. Yeah, bro. Our, one our one assignment. Yeah, our one assignment. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, well, this is day four, right? Day four. So yeah, we we got a lot done, but this was a this was a major thing John and I were talking about before even coming here. And this is a you know we we had some troll stuff, and we still have some more troll things to do. But this was the main objective. So even if we just get one, it's one. What's going on with your computer? Is there a problem with it? Not answer that phone because they're scammers, okay? We are observing the scammers, more specifically their phone systems, which allow us to step in and intervene any ongoing scams. All right. All right, you have yourself a good day, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, 
So I got, I got a hold of him. You got a hold of him? Yeah, you got her? Yeah. Saved? Uh, well, he just, he said, uh, I just, he's like, I just Googled it. They, they didn't try to connect. Perfect. No, did you tell, tell him not to ever Google it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Good job. not to Google it. In this case, at the People's Call Center, we have one group that has access to scammers' incoming call list, and we have another team of people in the main room who are ready to call those victims and disrupt everything so no one gets scammed. They've got access to a couple of call centers and they're just sending us the live victims' numbers. Oh, here's Nano Scambator. Come say hi, Nano Scambator. What What's the status? What's going on? You, did you disconnect them? She's not picking up the phone. All right, Nano's gonna go hang up the phone. He's gonna disconnect the call, and we're gonna try again. I'm gonna tell Nano that they're not picking up. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? I sure can. Are you on the phone with some people, with some tech support people? Yes. Okay, I'm here to tell you that those are scammers. I work for, a, I work with a team that tracks down scammers, and we're monitoring them, and they are trying to connect to your computer and take money from you. They're just gonna rob you. They're gonna try and log into your computer, okay? And they're gonna try and scam you. And the number that you the number that you called was not actually Best Buy. I'm, I'm watching what he's doing right now, and he's not doing anything on your machine, but the best thing you can do is to shut it down. We've been saving victims all morning. It's really, it's really fun. It's a real rush. Now it's time to talk about this guy, Ravi Prakash Shukla. One thing I can tell you is that he's a piece of I've been watching him for six months scam elderly innocent people out of their life savings. I've got his name with all of his info, the exact city and building he's operating out of, and now I thought it would be perfect to confront him live at the People's Call Center. So here's the deal, Pierogi is live streaming on YouTube, and we're gonna open up a live video feed of Pierogi's YouTube stream on Ravi's computer. All right, so this is a, a printer support scammer, and we are currently on his webcam, so we're watching him. Hopefully he picks up and uh, we're gonna share with him that we're all watching him scam people. So it should be pretty, pretty exciting. I'm just gonna record Dale waving. <laughs> Everyone just wave. Everyone needs to wave. We all, yes. Scammer. Where is he? He's in, is he in Kolkata? He's in Delhi. Okay. <laughs> Ravi, hi Ravi, Ravi, hey, Ravi. Thank you. We're watching Ravi. Open it up. Open it up. Open it. 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 Oh, you didn't get to see him say. Open it. Open it. This dude Ravi was so scared, he shut down his computer instantly, and that's why the webcam on the TV looks frozen. We haven't seen his computer come online since this confrontation, so our assumption is that Ravi is gone forever. Hacking and watching scammers with a group of people was truly an amazing experience. Helping others save victims and stop fraud was very stressful at times, but the overall feeling is very rewarding. Okay. I hope Scammer Payback and his team invite me for another great week of destroying scammers next year. And I appreciate all of you for watching and supporting the People's Call Center.